Senate, there were a few sheriffs who testified against it, saying that the bill was unenforceable. Today we have Sheriff Glenn Palmer, one of the sheriffs who testified against SB 941. Oh, the butterflies. I, uh, I want to let everybody know that uh, I was born and raised in John Day, and just for the record, John Woo! Day is nowhere near Rufus. I appreciate everybody coming out for, uh, for the event today. And one of the things that uh, is good for the spirit and the heart is looking out here and looking at all these children that have something to do inherit from us that we pass on to them. Um, I want to talk a little bit about, I've got about five points here that I want to speak on. Um, as firearms owners, we realize that there's accountability for, for what we do and what we believe in. And with that comes responsibility. I'm going to ask for your cooperation in some things and some of the things that I see as a police officer that we need to do a little better, and that's policing ourselves. When we're out shooting and using sporting, sporting events or uh, shooting on public lands or on somebody else's property, we need to make sure that we clean up after ourselves and leave a, a good example. One of the other things I'd like to speak about is education. I think it's important that we pass on the, our heritage and our customs and cultures with uh, firearms related programs. We as firearms owners can't trust or depend on some of these people in this building behind me to pass this on for us. They're here to take this stuff away from us. However, there's groups and organizations that'll take on, uh, help teach the heritage and our backgrounds and our, um, our way of life. And just to name a couple of them are, are the 4-H, uh, Project Appleseed, um, hunter safety programs and what I'm asking from you folks is to get involved with these kind of activities you know I'm not sure how long ago it was a month or so ago I came to Salem and testified on uh, Senate Bill 9, 941 and I've uh, I made a stance and told the public that I wouldn't enforce it I don't think it's enforceable and I won't comply One of the things that I stand for is less government intrusion in our lives and uh, how important our oath of office is to us. I know the oath keepers have uh, made a big stance, but uh, I know it's hard for me to You know, it's, it's very important and it's near and dear to my heart to make sure that all elected officials follow the Constitution and when they raise their right hand and take the oath of office that they, they're taking a vow and they're defending and supporting the public and uh, I just want you to know that I'll support and defend the Constitution of the United States and the state of Oregon. Thank you all for coming today. Good to meet a lot of you. Thank you.